controversial comic, Ricky Gervais. You may be aware that he's been in Dublin. He's had his show. And Barry Egan, journalist with The Independent, wrote an article about it. And he said, intolerant, nasty and grossly offensive. And 11,000 people laughed along. And I, I know Barry, he's a great guy. And, and, and I'm, I like his writing very much. But I was reading the headline over and over again. And I thought to myself, so what? So what if Ricky Gervais is offensive? Since when do we need to police what everyone says or protect ourselves from things that make us vaguely uncomfortable or, or even that we dislike? We've moved into an era where we, we are mad for that offence is like a trump card. I'm offended by what you say, so you shouldn't be allowed to say it. And, and it is a so what. And there was a very interesting other thing in the paper this week. Nick Laird, who's a Northern Ireland poet, he said in the Irish Times that every evil act he has ever seen had at its core identity. And he said, in Northern Ireland, we did identity politics. He said, it didn't go very well. And he said, we were waiting for Northern Ireland to catch up with the rest of the world. And then the rest of the world became Northern Ireland. Ricky went on in, in his comedy and he was talking about fascists. And he said, fascists used to be authoritarian people who oppressed people and locked them up and killed them and shot them. And now we think they're people who, who listen to a Joe Rogan podcast. And there is something in this. We, we have moved the goalposts and all of this kind of things. And... and Barry within that said that at times he felt Ricky was ver- kind of veering towards hate speech. And that's an issue too because we're bringing in hate speech legislation. But the reality is one man's hate speech is another man's joke. And the minister might think, the minister might think that we all know where the line lies there. But I'm not sure that we actually do. So I suppose I'm asking this morning about what you think about comedy. Because to me, we have always laughed at stuff we weren't supposed to. That's why slapstick is funny. Somebody falls down a flight of stairs and hits themselves in the head with a plank. That's not nice, but that's what we laugh at. Or, or we sit at the back of a funeral and suddenly we get a fit of the giggles. It is human nature to laugh at things. And partly the reason Ricky Gervais is considered funny is because he says things. It's because he says things that other people don't necessarily say and that we think he shouldn't be allowed to say. But should he? Should he be allowed? And, and the thing about Ricky, I have to say, he's a splatter gun approach. It isn't any one group he's going after. He goes after everybody. He's an equal opportunity insulter. Um, I do actually think he's funny. I do actually think he should have a right to, to laugh and joke about whatever the hell he wants. And I do say when we hear that he's grossly offensive, so what? I, 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 I personally, and I may be in a minority one, I'm tired. I'm tired of people what the young people would say, tone policing each other. I'm tired of people telling people what it's allowed to say and think. And I think we need to think about that because that's a problem too. And I think it is authoritarian actually to try and tell other people what they can say. And freedom of expression is important in a democracy, guys. And lastly, what I would say is you only believe in free speech. And free speech, by the way, is not just the preserve of, of, of right wingers. Free speech used to be a liberal value and, and it should still be. But you only believe in free speech if you believe in free speech for people that you don't agree with. I'd love to know what you think this morning. Is Ricky Gervais intolerant, grossly offensive, nasty? Is he those things or is he just bloody funny and is that okay too? Let us know this morning. We'd love to hear from you here on...